guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. So today I'm bringing you guys a little Christmas tutorial. I literally feel so festive at the moment. I got my little Christmas tree up, my little fairy lights, and I got my little Christmas jumper. How cute is this jumper, guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this makeup look. I feel like this season is the perfect time to bring out your little greens, a little bit of glitter, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys wanna see how I create this look, please keep watching. Guys, it's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial. So we're gonna start off by using this product from Bobbi Brown. It's called the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I actually haven't used many things from Bobbi Brown, but I know a lot of YouTubers love this cream. Oh, I think I used a bit too much. I use way too much. I'm gonna scrape the rest off in here. No wasting, do you know what I mean, guys? I don't know what it is about me. Even though I have so much makeup, I still never wanna waste anything. I always feel so bad throwing anything away. Even if it's expired, I'm like, oh, but maybe if I shake it, it might go back to normal. Kind of just feels like a moisturiser, if I'm honest. So it's probably better for people if you've got more, like, dry skin. Especially around this time of year, everything's, like, so dry. By the way, guys, I have new lights. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks a lot more true to colour than in my other videos. With this lighting, I can literally see if a foundation is too orange for me. Whereas before, I can kind of see it, but I just kind of went along with it. It didn't look that bad. Whereas these lights, it will tell you, bitch, that you look hella orange. Okay. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in 301N. I actually done a whole video testing out Anastasia Beverly Hills, so make sure you check out that video. Guys, I'm so pale at the moment. All my foundations are way too dark for me. Okay. I'm just using this Sunday Ivy microfiber sponge. I got this from Boohoo for like six pounds. It was so good. And it's all stained now. I need to get some new ones. Bitch, it's so dark. What the hell? This used to fit me perfectly back in the summertime. Okay, so I just blended in some more pumps of the foundation. It's giving me good coverage. I look very glowy, very luminous. How you doing? But I do have more of an oily combination skin. So in the center, I'm gonna go in with a more matte concealer. This one is from NARS. It's called Medium One Color. Custard Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I don't really like the pot applicator of this. I can never get in there with my fingers, so I just use a sponge. And this one's really nice for underneath your eyes because it just helps brighten and it almost helps like smooth out your pores, I find, because it's quite like a matte concealer. It just like makes everything look really smooth. So just to bronze my skin, I'm going to use a Vanish Hourglass Stick in the shade Almond. Look how dirty this is. Oh my goodness, I need to clean my shit. So I'm just going to contour the side of my face. This is quite a warm kind of colour. I'm just a little bit below here. Okay, so just added some on my nose. Now I'm going to quickly blend it out. I'm looking for a good new contouring stick, guys. I really want to try the KKW one. Have you guys tried it? Is it good? Let me know. Okay, I'm going to use the Zoeva 103 just to blend this out into my hairline. Because I'm so pale these days, I love wearing a nice... Bronzy kind of shade, especially on my forehead, to give me a bit more colour, you know. Oh my god. I literally look like I'm a sunburn. Let me just blend this out quickly. Guys, have you been liking my vlogmases recently? I've just finished week two and we're moving on to week three this week. It's so exciting. I was actually so nervous to start this whole vlogging journey because I just feel like, oh my god, I'm just so boring i don't really live like a fun life really like half of it is really really fun half of it i'm literally in my pajamas on the pc literally for half of my life so i was wondering how i'm gonna make it entertaining for you guys but i actually really enjoy it i'm actually so surprised at myself how much i'm actually enjoying it it's so crazy because you honestly forget what's happened during the week and then when i sit down on that friday and i edit back everything that i've done i'm just like wow we've done a lot guys and it's actually quite like cool keeping all these like memories even though I know that they won't get like really high views or anything, I just feel like I'm so much closer to you guys. Like when I read the comments inside of my vlogs, I just feel like, wow, you guys are like really here for me, you know? You guys are like down to watch anything that I get up to. I don't have to try to be funny. I don't have to like do things to get views. I don't have to clickbait. And I don't have to like think, oh my God, is this gonna go viral? Like, am I jumping on the trend? I just feel like this is just me and you guys are loving it. So I just feel so much closer to you guys, even though I get less 
less views. The views I do get on it means so much to me. Okay, so I just, just done my eyebrows and I just powdered my face lightly. I'm gonna go in and bake my face now with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Apparently one of these powders sells every like three seconds or something like that. It is a really good powder, I'm not gonna lie. I have so many powders and I just keep going back to this one. I'm gonna do it just on the side of my nose. This is a bit where I get really oily. So when I bake my skin, I know my foundation is gonna last all day long. It also helps when I do this because it makes my nose slimmer as well and a bit more straight. And then it also catches any eyeshadow that falls down when you put your eyeshadow on later as well. Gonna also carve out this contour a bit more. Hello, Angles. Okay, so we'll leave the baking on for a while. I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in number two, just to start priming my eyes because I want my eyeshadow to pop, 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 pop. So I just got new piercings, which I just showed in my last vlog. And oh my God, they are so painful. This ear is so stiff and it keeps bleeding. I keep waking up with like dried blood. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> Okay, so eyeshadow palette wise, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 39A eyeshadow palette. This palette is really nice because it has kind of like these green tones in it, which I thought would be really, really nice for a Christmas tutorial. If you guys are picking anything up from Morphe, I would love it if you use my discount code TWEE, T H U Y. It's super, super easy. You guys can save 10% off online or even in store. Save yourself some money, girl. Help your sister out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in with this dark green shade here. Yeah. I'm gonna use this and blend this on the outer corners of my eyes. Just to kind of get that green effect going, that Christmassy vibe. This is quite like a nice green as well. It's not too much of like a bright emerald green. It has a bit more like a khaki kind of tone to it, which is really nice. I haven't done a look using shades like this before, so this is exciting. So I'm just blending out on the other side as well. Just outside in the crease and I'm going in like circular motions. I'm going to go into this shade here right in the middle. I love this whole row of transition shades. And I'm just going to blend this up a little bit higher and then this just connects to my nose as well. Just so that I can blend this green into more of a transition shade so it doesn't look like a harsh green on your eyes. I just find when you use a transition shade like this, it just looks a bit more flattering and makes it look a bit more modern instead of you wearing like bright green eyeshadow on your eyes okay so now that i blended out the green just on the outer corner it's time to put on the pigment this is probably one of my favorite bits to do my makeup when the eyeshadow goes on it's all nice and glittery it wouldn't be a christmas makeup tutorial without some glitter am i right or am i right so i'm gonna go in with this little eyeshadow pigment it's from lip cosmetics they do some of my favorite glitters in the whole wide world and this is called escape and it's in the gold version. They also do a silver version as well, but I prefer the gold one. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's like a green with like some gold in there. So Doll Beauty, I've just launched new eyeshadow brushes. So I'm using the, oh my God, it has my name on it. Jesus Christ. This is the DB7 brush. I'm gonna pick up some of that pigment. I feel like I need to just spray my brush a little bit because it's quite a fine glitter. I just wanna make sure that it doesn't fall out everywhere onto my cheek. Woo! It actually kind of looks a bit blue to me. I thought it would look a bit more green. Okay, so I'm literally just packing it on, mainly on my eyelid. And then when I have less on my brush, I'm going a little bit higher. If you're using this product, definitely make sure you bake your face first so that you can just wipe off all of the fallout after and it won't ruin your foundation. Look how pretty this eyeshadow color is. I'm just gonna blend out my lower lash line. Look how cool this brush is, by the way, guys. It's like a straight brush, but it's fluffy. Very cool. So I'm gonna go in this dark brown shade. I'm just gonna smoke this out on my bottom lash line. The brown on the lower lash line still makes it really nice and smoky. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. They actually have a cool new one for the holiday season and it's in like a really nice gold packaging. I actually just opened one up a few weeks ago and I was in such a rush I forgot to close the lid and then it dried out. So now I have a fresh new one. Okay, so I have a whole tutorial about how to do eyeliner on my channel already. That will really help you guys out if you struggle with eyeliner. But the Epic Ink Liner is like one of my favourite liners because it's so nice and black and inky. You guys can see it's going on top of glitter so well. A lot of liquid liners, when they go on top of glitter, it goes a bit see-through. Whereas this one is like, not me, bitch. Wing. Connect the wing. Fill in the wing. And bam. Mmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go pop on my lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put on my lashes. These are from Doll Beauty. I think they're in the style of Samantha. So I'm just gonna wipe away all the fallout. Thank God that I baked. Oh my God, I forgot to put highlighter on. The fuck? No wonder, I was like, why does my face look so flat today? Okay, so I'm gonna use Rodeo Dry from Ofra Cosmetics. I haven't used this in ages. Why did I stop using you? I have no idea why. Such a good highlighter. 
I don't know why guys we find out amazing things and then new things come along that we forget all about the old stuff that we had why do we do that as human beings I have no idea it's gonna add a little bit of blusher in like me love me from Mac whenever I do like green on my eyes I always go for more of a corally blusher I feel like it goes with it a bit more so I'm just gonna quickly line my lips with a morphe spiffy mmm this lip liner is cute Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to go in this shade from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Charlotte, darling. It's actually one of my favourite colours of all time. It has a really nice, like, corally nude undertone. It's really nice because it's matte, but it doesn't dry out your lips. Oh my god, I love this colour so much. It's almost one of my perfect nudes. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go do my hair because it looks a bit crazy right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I just finished off with a little gloss on my lips. I just done my hair quickly, and how cute is this jumper? This is from Misguided. It's, like, my cute... Christmassy jumper. I'm actually gonna go out to celebrate Christmas with my friends now So I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial I love wearing green eyeshadow and I feel like this time of year is the perfect time to bring out the greens bring out the reds You know, so if you guys like this video, please give me a little thumbs up Make sure you guys check out my vlogs as well I'm vlogging every single Sunday for the whole month of December So definitely join my little vlogmas series and that's it for this video guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys Merry Christmas. I can't believe I'm saying that ah! I need to film a TikTok. Be right back one second. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> guys, I'm into TikTok. Make sure you're following me, guys. I'm actually so excited about it. It's like a whole new platform that I just get to create stupid, dumb videos, and I love it. So I am going to go in with a more matte foundation. Foundation, you're not foundation, you slut. In with a more matte foundation. This is... Keep calling this a foundation! Well, let's carry on my TikTok. Be right back, guys. All I want for Christmas is you. Baby! My tummy's hungry. I'm growling. I'm starving, Marvin. Me too! is always starving. What's new? I'm scratching my nunny. It's so itchy. Oh my god, my face is so round whenever I wear a turtleneck. Maybe I should roll it down again. Does it look like I've got some wide neck now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How do people wear turtlenecks without looking like you have no neck? Okay.